Hi, it's Jackie. With Reborn Babies are Forever Babies. Today I want to introduce to you a brand new segment that I've been thinking about putting together for my channel. I've decided to call this new segment Rocking the Cradle. It's kind of a pun on words. You know how people say sometimes, oh, now don't rock the boat. Well, in this situation, I've decided since we are a reborn doll channel, it'd be fun to put a little pun on words and call it Rocking the Cradle. Eden likes the name, don't you, Eden? So, just so you'll all know what it's about, when you do see this little thumbnail on my videos, it's not going to be your normal doll parody with a storyboard about one of the toddlers in my nursery and all the fun little escapades that are going on, but more or less things I see in the community, things I've noticed on YouTube, and where is my thought process on all of it? Now, I don't want to confuse any of my normal subscribers into thinking that this is how I'm changing my channel. Not changing anything. I've merely decided to add a little bit more depth to some of the conversations that I have. So if you see my thumbnail that says, Rocking the Cradle, you'll know that's a day for a serious discussion. You can join us or you can opt out. No hard feelings either way. First off, I'd like to give a shout out to Sue Drinkwater. Sue, sweetheart, if you're watching this video, I just want you to know that I've been thinking a lot about you, researching all kinds of stuff on YouTube about search engine optimization, the use of tags, and um, some of the descriptions that we put in our videos and um, I wanted to share something with all of you that I had found while I was looking up some of that information. Now I do believe that the very last video that Sue Drinkwater had up before her channel was terminated was her dolls which were competing in the Winter Olympics. Now, I might be wrong, and I don't mind at all if I stand correcting, but Sue was talking about her dolls competing in the Winter Olympics. Well, when people are looking for our videos and they start typing in tag words or descriptive words for something in particular that they're looking for, they don't want to be deceived. And I know that Sue was not purposely trying to be deceitful in her video, someone may have turned her in um, for misusing the Winter Olympics and showing her dolls playing in the bobsled. Because what I've been finding out is these tag words are what help us to rate higher in Google Analytics. And it also helps to see when people are watching one type of a video, what the next video that will be served up over to the right of the screen when the video finishes, what they think you may want to watch. And so that person may have felt that it was that they were being deceived and at that point turned her in and it would be a violation of YouTube guidelines um, at that point, from what I can gather in reading. Now, we all know that Sue Drinkwater is one of the kindest, sweetest people uh, here on YouTube. And of course, she wouldn't mean to be uh, deceiving anybody in any way, shape, or form. And that is not what I'm implying, but I do think that there's a high probability that this is what indeed happened to her. Today's video conversation is about deceptive use
of tags in the reborn community. Now, I'm sure a lot of you at home are probably thinking that, that, that what I'm saying is crazy and it doesn't make any sense. But let me explain to you why I think that I'm on to something. You see, I work in print advertising. I've been in advertising for 16 years now. I've worked for four different um, newspaper companies here in Connecticut. And I also do quite a bit with digital media and um, also stuff on the internet. And at the time of football, when they have the, the uh, Super Bowl, we are not allowed to put Super Bowl in any of the advertisements for, say, a television company as advertising you want a TV for the Super Bowl, not allowed to use Super Bowl. It is a registered trademark, and it's a no-no in any type of advertising. We have to call it the big game. And if we do put Super Bowl in any of the advertising, not only can we be fined, but also the company that's doing the advertising. Little Eden is sitting in an antique rocking chair that I want to refinish. My husband and I, we purchased it last year at an antique sale in Marlboro, Connecticut. And he's rocking away because I'm about to rock the cradle. These are the tag words being used on a reborn channel of someone here in the community. First five tag words are channel names that have absolutely nothing to do with the person who is making the videos. So let me tell you how this works. When people are watching these other channels, her video is being fed right alongside theirs as a suggestion for them to click on. And that's how this channel is growing. But YouTube does not think kindly to this practice. Right under there, it says, Reborn Night Routine. Reborn morning routine, shopping with a reborn. None of these things take place in the video. And so if you like these kind of videos and YouTube knows it because they keep track of it, her videos are being fed right alongside. So they're more apt to be clicked on. Again, very deceitful. And if YouTube finds out, her channel is in jeopardy. Again, these tags were taken off another video of someone talking about prototype dolls, although that person did not have a prototype doll in the video, nor was her doll painted by a prototype artist. And yet, look at all these wonderful artists that are tagged onto the video. And so, if someone looks up one of these artists on YouTube, her video is more apt to be seen, another practice that's frowned on upon by YouTube. Okay, this is the last one, and I found this one the funniest of them all. In this video, this person had recently deleted their channel, but started up a new one. Best way to get viewers, I guess, is to claim you're having a box opening, a blanket reveal, a new baby, isn't that what people search? Of course, the only thing I did find in this video was a little story time. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Rockin' the Cradle. I want to thank you all for watching. I always do. And remember, everybody, be good out there. Bye-bye.